everybody. We are still here in Monteverde, Costa Rica, and I am standing over an army ant foraging trail. So army ants are really cool because they're either mostly or entirely blind. So they completely navigate through the jungle, leaving pheromones. So what they do is they is one worker will leave a pheromone trail and the other workers will follow. <clears throat> now army ants, oh, it's probably a bad idea. Ah. Okay, so I have some army ants on my hand here, and this is a smaller species, um, but whenever they feel threatened, they will bite and they will sting. Army ant trails can be quite a spectacle, some ranging over 50 feet long and over 10 feet wide. It's a wonder how they got their name. They certainly are a very powerful army. Now what's really cool about army ants is that they actually shape many ecosystems around them. So there's actually specific species of birds that will wait in the trees by the foraging trail and they will actually catch the insects that are fleeing the army's path. So the army ants ripple through the forest and the birds catch all the grasshoppers that are running for their lives and the spiders and everybody's running out of the way. So there's a whole group of birds that just eat the insects that run away from the from the ants. While in Monteverde, I had the honor of watching an army ant colony raid a paper wasp nest. You can see the workers at the top of the nest actually pulling the wasp larva directly from the hole. Completely fascinating. Army ants are actually nomadic. And what this means is that they don't actually hole up and make a permanent nest. They actually move from site to site to make new colonies. So what they do is they'll move all of the larvae and the eggs to a new spot and then the old workers will die and those larvae and pupa will emerge into workers and then they will keep moving. So they, the reason why they are nomadic is because they eat so much food that they need to move from spot to spot in order to sustain their protein intake. And they sure do need their protein. The colonies can be quite large. In fact, one queen can produce up to 225,000 eggs in her lifetime. That's a lot of babies. Now, army ants can do something really cool. They can actually hold on to one another to construct bridges and stuff, like a barrel of monkeys, and they just clamp on to each other's legs or their mandibles, and they can actually string down from trees or sometimes from people's ceilings to get to new places, to get to, into new... Into when I'm not completely covered in ants and can actually think clearly, I can get the point across that the army ants are very nomadic in their foraging. They're always moving and always looking for new food, which is why they have so many interesting adaptations. My favorites. I'm gonna stick my hand back in them again. Oh, that's a bunch. You can see. <laughs> But they are very, ah, they can bite and sting, which is a really, really good combination here in the rainforest. These aren't even big ones either. Hopefully we'll find some bigger ones by the end of the trip. Ah. All right, I think that's enough. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode. We're still here in Monteverde for a long time, and there's plenty of cool stuff to find.